Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be having some fun with one of the in-game shows that you can actually go see in RDR2. And it's going to feature one magician in particular, and that is Benjamin Lazarus. So you can actually go see his show as soon as Saint Denis is unlocked, which is in chapter two. It, it doesn't really matter. And he has a couple of shows that we're going to look at today. And the reason his shows are so different than any of the other performers is he actually requires intervention from the audience members, which actually turns out to be you. So it really does make the story quite funny when it's all said and done. So his first act is very, very interesting. And I'm actually going to let you guys take a listen to these acts right now so you can have a better idea of what's going on here. But in the first act, he essentially gets shot in like the mouth. But obviously, instead of getting shot, he catches the bullet with his teeth, which is obviously very impressive. Now, he has his assistant doing this, and one of the audience members starts to heckle him, saying that it's fake. And he asks a member from the audience to come up and shoot him in the face to prove that he can actually do that. And that's where I'll let you guys take a listen to the conversation or the entire act that's going to happen right now. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using light no reflection by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm ah. to watch the show. And Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my teeth. So as you guys can see there, we've been called upon to shoot Benjamin Lazarus in the face. But what happens if you don't shoot him in the face? What if you shoot him in the wrong area? What would happen? That's what we're going to be finding out right now. And if you do that, he says, you were supposed to shoot near my head, you bloody idiot. And then the curtain ends up closing and like the main guy, Aldridge T. Abington, has to explain, you know, he's fine. Everyone be calm. It's just entertainment. So you ruined the act by shooting him not in the head. I thought that was pretty funny. And I love how you can determine the outcome of the play uh, by choosing to shoot him in the wrong spot. Now, if you want to do this the right way, this is what will actually happen. Take a listen to this. Let's not keep the audience waiting. Hurry up! Hey, get off the stage! What the Just an illusion, after all. So that right there is the first performance that you can interact with with Benjamin Lazarus. Now, he has a couple of other shows as well. One you actually can't interact with. He just simply like goes inside of this steamer trunk and then escapes. It's pretty cool, and obviously all of these are entertaining. But the next one that you can interact with Benjamin has to do with him and a noose. So you'll know you've gotten to the right one. Uh, if you actually get to the noose and essentially what happens in this act is that he is going to be put in a straitjacket. 
He's going to be standing on a stool with a noose around his neck, and his objective is to escape from the straight jacket. And obviously that's very difficult, and if he falls off the stool, he's gonna end up hanging himself. And this is what happens. And as we all know, watching a man hang is not the best entertainment. <laughs> Music, please. Stay still. Yeah. No. Stop. So as you guys saw there, we literally had to interject in the show to actually save his life. If we did not shoot that rope, he would have hanged himself. So just like our first performance, there's actually a version where we can not save him. And that's what I'm going to show you guys what happens now. What happens if you don't step in to save Benjamin Lazarus's life when he's there hanging by the rope? Here's what happens. Joker he is. Why would we hang a man for amusement? Ridiculous. That was uh, what an incredible night. I pray that you won't remember this evening for as long as you live, or at least until tomorrow when you might die of smallpox anyway. Good night, Saint Denis. So I love Arthur's reaction right there. He's like, he actually hanged himself. And I don't know if he ends up dying or if he gets cut down. The curtain actually comes across the stage and we don't see that. But that's obviously an epic fail right there by our magician friend, Benjamin Lazarus. So that's what happens if you either interject or decide to not interject, help or don't help Benjamin Lazarus. Uh, in Red Dead Redemption 2. In both instances, you can decide the fate of how these performances ultimately play out. And that's why I think they're so cool because a lot of the other acts in game just have you sitting by passively, which don't get me wrong, is a lot of fun. But at the same rate, you don't really get to decide what happens. Now, if you want to try this for yourself, I would recommend saving every time before you go to the theater. I'm sure that you can see these acts again, but they sort of have to go through a cycle because there's multiple acts for each performer. So if you want to try out all the different scenarios, I highly recommend saving before actually watching one of their performances. 
But anyways, that's all I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you found this experiment as fun as I did. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.